Hey, what's going on guys and girls? 163 down by the Rio Grande. Just got done with another 955. Be another long night. Radios, radios, radios. But uh, today it's like I've got all kinds of emails, a couple phone calls asking me, hard drive, how do you set the S9? Someone's spreading, you know, incorrect information. Can you clarify it a little bit? Yeah, I've seen it. All I can say is in a bash fest, but some guys try. They do. Some take longer than others. and You can't help it, you know. But spreading the in incorrect information is uncool. You know, there's going to be guys out here doing all kinds of shit to their radios, <laughs> misaligning them. And normally, if you can't get an S9 right, I mean, forget the rest of it. You're going to be a mud duck. So anyways, let's, let's make this extremely basic, okay? And I'll show you what happens when you adjust them incorrectly. If you're a tech, and you do tens and tens of thousands of uh, alignments and actually tune radios, not just fix them, tune, totally different animal. You instantly know that when you're on RX, okay, for instance, RX, okay, and you're plugged in, RX, mode, but instantaneously everything is for RX, when you open the book, if you don't already know it by heart, I'll put a link below of the actual tables that you click on, and you can take that to the bank, okay, just click on it, you'll see it use it for your reference it's not an opinion you know it's not something that was conveniently found to make it look a certain way it's it's the real deal it says everything right on the on the, on the formula and not the formula but the tables and i've spread it around even to some of these same people that are having issues trying to figure out how to do some of the simplest things and i've noticed they delete it after a while that's okay you can only help so many people. So anyways, getting back to like an RF, this is a, you know, a service monitor. By the way, without this, especially when you start talking about microvolts, you know, when you start getting that low in power, without this, and especially at lower frequencies, then you may as well hang it up. You gotta have a fresh certification. I tested this one up against my, my other one, and they're both identical, uh, half digit, <laughs> very, very close. So anyways, when you go to, you know, do receive, whenever you see, you know, negative DBM, that means, you know, it's crossed 50 ohm load, it's a radio, you know, you're testing a receiver. You don't even think about it. It's like a driver. You either put it in R or D. It's really simple to even talk about it. It's like foolish, really. So, anyways, uh, this one here. Let's go to thirty. Well, we're gonna go to zero like we're supposed to, and sixty-seven. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I'll show you. Seventy-three. If you know, seventy-three is like half the power of. Uh, 67, negative 67, 50 versus 100 microvolt. This one is set at S9, and you'll see it kind of like floating around, bouncing around, really not that stable. That's because it's not accurate. See it there? All right. Now let's go to 67. Two hands. Remember, if they can't show you everything, they're snowing you. All right. I mean, this is one thing that I've noticed that most have had problems with. It's some of the most basic things. But again, you know, fixing radios, changing parts. 
that's one thing. Can I see it? Where are you at? See it now? Now I'm going to turn this back down to 67 or 73. Well, down, yes. Seventy-three. I'll focus. So what'll happen is, is it'll look like you're picking up nine pounds of noise. Your meter will always be floating all over the place. Be sporadic. Now let's adjust it correctly. which is 67, 100 microvolt. Because they are touchy. And uh, for a lot of you guys, I don't recommend that you ever get inside of these on the receiver. If you don't have the proper equipment, all you're gonna do is make it worse. And that's all I see is nonstop. When I see a, an S meter, you know, they can't figure that part out, you know the alignment's all jacked up. You're a mud duck. Okay, so I'm gonna go again, see it? But now, if we go to half power or 73, you'll notice that it only drops down one bar. See the drastic difference? I hope some of this is informative. And those of you spreading the wrong information, you really ought to get your stuff straight before you put up a video, you know what I mean? Hope everybody uh, learned something today. Don't forget the graphs below. Click it. It's my Facebook channel. Stay tuned in. You know who it is. Click, click.